Welcome to Ogenius Panda Virtual Labs, where students and teachers access the virtual laboratory simulations for various science subjects. Hello, learners. Welcome back to Ogenius Panda Virtual Labs. In this video, we shall discuss the states of matter and changes of states of matter. This is a topic which is covered in senior one according to Rwanda Education Board. And the simulation we shall use is the states of matter basics. There will be another video to explain the second part of this simulation, which is the first changes, which is the first changes. And that will be focusing on senior six students and senior five students. And that will be focusing on the content of senior five, unit 11. Here we have the objective of our lesson. Here we have the objectives of our lesson. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the states of matter and describe the changes of the states of matter using a lab simulation. What are some of the properties of the states of matter? The three states, the three states of matter are well known. We have the solid state, the liquid state, and the gaseous, the gaseous state. And the gaseous state. For the solids, they have a fixed shape and volume because their particles do not move they do not slide over each other. While for the liquids, they have a fixed volume, but they can occupy any container. So they take the shape of the container in which they are. That is somehow different from what happens with the solids. For the solids, they have a fixed shape and volume, the liquids, they have a fixed volume with a shape which can change because the molecules can slide over each other. And for the gases, they have no fixed shape and they have no fixed volume. Even the shape, the shape and the volume can both change. And the solids, they have rigid particles which vibrate within fixed positions. The particles can only vibrate with fixed positions. The solids cannot be compressed. They cannot be squeezed in a smaller volume and they can't even flow. The liquids, they have particles which can slide past one another slightly and they can be slightly compressed, but it's to a very but it is to a very small extent. And here they are also fluids, just like the gases. They are fluids and they can flow easily. For the gases, the particles are moving very fast. They are in always, they are always in random movement and they move very fast. Gases are very compressible and they flow very easily because the particles are free to move. Here we have some examples of the everyday life materials and substances we know that are classified under the three states of matter we have already described. For the solid, you can take the example of soil, you can take the example of sugar, chalk, wood, bricks, desks, and so on. You can pause the video to think about more examples. For the liquid, you know water, you know kerosene, you know milk, you know the sodas, Joyce, you know, so many liquids. And for the gas, we know air. We know biogas, there is carbon dioxide, we breathe out. 
we know the water vapors, and we also know nitrogen, which is the main component of air. Now that we have described the states of matters and we have given some examples, let's have a look at the changes that can happen between the different states of matters. How do we call them? For example, when a solid changes to a gas. Changing a solid to a gas, that is a process called sublimation. When a solid changes immediately to a gas without changing into a liquid, we call the process sublimation. That is a physical change and it is a change of the state of matter, changing from the solid state to the gas state. And the back process or the reverse process is called deposition. A gas when it changes directly into a solid. We also know a process where a solid changes into a liquid. From the solid to the liquid, we call the process melting. It is called melting and the reverse process is freezing. For example, when the solid water, which is commonly called ice, it changes into liquid water that is melting. We say that the ice is melting. And when the liquid water is changing into a solid, we say that it is freezing. And from the liquid to the gas, we have two processes. And from the liquid to the gas, we have the boiling process. Boiling process and the reverse is condensation. Condensation, this boiling, you can also call it evaporation. There is evaporation or boiling. So evaporation can even take place without boiling. But when boiling takes place at the boiling temperature, the substance is evaporating very fast and the liquid changes into a gas. So we have melting and freezing when the solid and the liquid are involved. Solid and gas, we have sublimation and deposition. And between the liquid and gas, we have boiling and condensation. Now let's use our lab simulation to see how these physical changes or these changes of states of matter can be illustrated using the lab simulation. Here we have our lab simulation. Here we have our lab simulation. And the substance we are starting with is neon. Neon, which is normally a gas at room temperature and pressure. And here we have the solid state. You can see how the particles are regularly arranged, the atoms of neon, how they are regularly arranged in the solid state. And you can also see, remember the properties of the solid, you can also see that the particles are not moving, but they are only vibrating. So a solid has a definite shape, a fixed shape and a fixed volume, and the particles do not move. They are in fixed positions. The only thing they can do is vibrating. Now let's check what happens for this is the solid state. Now what happens into the liquid state? Into the liquid state, you can see that the motion of our particles, it improves. In the liquid state, the particles have more energy and they can move faster than in the solid state. Remember in the solid state, they don't even move, but in the liquid state, they move. So they have more energy 
And you can see that they don't have really a definite shape. They don't have a definite shape, even though the volume is almost constant. You can see the volume is almost constant. And because this neon, the substance we are using, is a very volatile substance, some of the particles may escape. This is a surface evaporation. And what happens in the gas state? In the gas state now, the particles inside a container are 100% scattered. They are in a high speed movement. They have a lot of energy. And the other thing you have to consider here is the temperature. We go back to the liquid. You can see the temperature before we go back to the liquid. You check the temperature of this gas. It's 55 Kelvin. You can use this down one arrow to show even the temperature in Celsius degrees. So this is negative 218. And when you go to the liquid state, the temperature decreases. It becomes more negative. And on the solid state, it decreases again. It is now negative 260 Celsius degrees. So this shows that a gas state has more energy than a liquid state, and the liquid has more energy than the solid state. And remember, we have talked about the changes of states. What can we do to change this solid into a liquid? Let's check what we can do. Remember the temperature of the liquid, we have 26 Kelvin, and that of the solid, it's 13 Kelvin. Now guess what we can do to change the solid into a liquid? Keeping in mind that a solid has a higher temperature than, sorry, I mean a solid has a higher temperature than a liquid has a higher temperature than a solid. You can pause the video to think about it and then replay when you have the answer. Here we have a source of heat. And when you provide heat to a substance, its heat content will increase and even the temperature will increase. Guess what? As the temperature increases, we will reach the point at which the solid will change into the liquid. Look, here we are providing some heat. To do this, you have to click on the left part of your click of your mouse. You have to click on your mouse you do a left click and make a long press and then you slide up. Now, when the temperature is above 80, you can see how the substance is behaving. With this state, the random movement at this speed, this is a gas. So you can change the solid into a liquid and the liquid into a gas. And you can also change the gas into a solid when you cool down. You can see as the temperature here, the temperature is decreasing. As the temperature decreases, then the substance, which was a gas, will condense to give you a liquid, and the liquid will freeze to give you a solid. Now we have substance which is almost solid and keeping on cooling it down we get the solid okay you can use these buttons to change the substance you are working with let's put their oxygen this is the solid state of oxygen you can see the particles are very closely packed and they are only vibrating you can check what happens if you put it into the liquid, you change into the liquid, the movement increases and the shape is not definite, just like what happens with the solid state. And in the gas, 
we have the random movements which have increased and we don't have a definite shape. You can increase the temperature of your substance or decrease the temperature to change from one state to the other. Changing from the gas by decreasing temperature, you have a liquid and we call that one a condensation. And as the temperature will keep on decreasing, it will change from the liquid to a solid. You can see with this behavior, this is a solid. And see, we only have vibrations. So this is a solid. And here we also have water. In the solid state, we have water. And there is something very unusual. You see, we don't have particles which are very closely packed, but this will be explained in another video. You can change into the liquid. The movements have increased. And in the gas, you can see the particles are scattered in the container. So this is how we can use the simulation to explain how states of matter can be interchanged for a given substance. If you want to reset, you can click here and then you reset everything. You can see we have started again with neon and the solid state. Now it's time to take the quiz for those who are ready. Here we have the quiz code. It's VID 001-008. Remember, if you have not mastered the content of this lesson, you can replay the video as many times as you want before you can take the video, before you can take the quiz. The quiz code, it's here on the screen. It's VID 001-008. And here we have the steps to taking the quiz. You go to the website, it's opanda.xyz. You click on login. The login here is the login is here. And after clicking on login, this window will appear. And then you click on take the quiz. And with the take the quiz, you will have this window and you type the code here. And after typing the code here, you will attempt 10 questions of our quiz to test your level of understanding. Thank you very much for always being there for these lessons, studying with us. I hope you enjoyed and you will be there for more videos. Thank you very much.